Hey guys, so uh, I just wanted to check out this phone here which has caught my attention uh, which is launching in India at the moment and nowhere else and it's called the Xiaomi Mi 4i uh, and it's uh, made by Xiaomi and they have been making some killer inroads to like India as well as China uh, obviously selling a lot more phones than any other manufacturer and uh, I have to say the specs on this particular phone are very interesting uh, given the price that it's being offered for uh, you can see here it's being offered for 13,000 rupees which uh, translates into about 130 pounds or about uh, 180 dollars so uh, it looks like it's going to be very good value for money and we can see from the build quality here it takes a bit of influence from like uh, the iPhone kind of 5C type of look so it's kind of like a unibody design here uh, with lots of different colors which is quite nice uh, in terms of the specifications we are getting a sharp JDI uh, full HD panel and uh, we're also getting a Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 uh, which is a 64-bit processor uh, very good in terms of the mid-range offering there uh, as well as 4G dual SIM capability Sony 30 megapixel camera 3120 mAh all-day battery and MIUI 6 on top of Android Lollipop so they're certainly giving you a lot for your money there uh, in terms of uh, what you're getting I, I don't think you can get anything else really that kind of price range uh, which competes with this particular uh, spec sheet and the, the screen looks like it's very good here uh, it's giving you 441 ppi uh, it also has some sort of sunlight display technology which should help with the like uh, the display in the sunlight uh, the processor is obviously paired with two gigs of uh, DDR3 RAM uh, so that should be sufficient and it's coming with 16 gigs uh, EMC flash so I think uh, Xiaomi caused quite a bit of stir recently saying that uh, SD cards were on the way out and that uh, people need to accept that uh, we don't need SD cards anymore so I think this phone doesn't come with an SD card which might be the only issue with it uh, it's not going to be a huge issue for people who don't carry a lot of stuff on their phones but personally I would have liked to have seen that uh, added to the spec sheet and uh, I think if they're going to not put SD cards in there it probably would have been best to put 32 gigs as the baseline minimum uh, but it does seem to get some very nice uh, Antutu scores here 40,000 so that's about matching with the Zenfone 2 uh, as well as Quadrant as well so the camera looks quite interesting as well it's a f2.0 aperture here uh, we're also getting a full HD capability uh, and a five element lens so from some of the uh, media reviews of the phone it seems that the camera is very strong here uh, you're also getting a 5 megapixel front facing camera which is, has some sort of beautify uh, software which is quite nice uh, so you are getting your 4G dual sim capability as well as the latest Wi-Fi AC standard uh, latest Bluetooth 4.1 low energy and that battery looks absolutely fantastic uh, given that it's a uh, 5 inch display here so uh, you're getting 3120 I don't think I've seen like a huge battery like that in any device but uh, it should give you like an all day battery the saying here that you're going to get like 11 hours video playback it also has the fast charge technology as well which means that you can charge up to 40% in an hour which is quite nice it looks like the speakers on the back here so uh, probably even better to put on the sides uh, also it's got some nice anti-grease coating here so uh, it should uh, remain quite nice looking like the Nexus 6 obviously uh, so uh, it definitely looks like you're getting a lot of value for your money here unfortunately it doesn't look like it's launching in like other countries at the moment it's just uh, confined to India but hopefully if it is successful they will be bringing it out worldwide because uh, the value just seems to be mind blowing really uh, for this particular handset but just a quick little video checking out this uh, phone I'm definitely excited for it and if I can pick one up I'll definitely see what I can do 
Uh, I hope you found it informative if you're not aware of this phone, and uh, I will see you very shortly. Cheers.